All right, all right. Let her rip. Cool, man. Fatherhood, you're playing that, doing a lot of comedy and a lot of dramatic work. How are you juggling both of these, bro? Juggling both of them. Um, you know, I think that you have to, to pretty much put yourself in a position where you can do material or, or um, you can do things of substance that that allow you to grow and allow you to put them on a display of you and your talent and, and where you are and also where you're going. So um, for this particular case, it's it's a step. I feel like a step in the same direction of the upside. The upside, I was able to show a different side of me, do more um, and align myself with people that were not necessarily in the comedy world. Um, in this particular case, it's doing the same thing, you know, yeah. but amping up the dramatic uh, role a little more. Still giving you some personable moments, but it's still a drama. It's still a, something that's a little more serious. So is the next step a full on drama? Um, I don't want to say it's not, but I'm not, I'm not leaving comedy anytime soon. I'm just mixing it up. I'm just putting myself in a position to always grow. Yeah. And for my fan base to go, oh, that was different. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was something else dope. Oh man, Kevin did this and now he's doing this. Oh, and then he's doing, um, you know, just trying to find excitement. And what it is that I'm doing so I don't get jaded and bored. Speaking of that jaded and bored, you are in a position to do to do a full on drama, to do an action movie. I just saw Hobbs and Shaw. That yeah. world has been built out for you now to come on to that franchise yeah. as well. Um, do you, how do you, how are you doing this? Do you see this? Are you planning these projects out? Yeah, I'll be planning Well, everything is done, everything is done strategically. Yeah. I mean, when you look at what it is I'm trying to cover, I'm covering all bases. So, you look at family, you got Jumanji. You look at animation, you got Seek Life of Pets and the world of Snowball and as that world continues. Um, you look at uh, drama or dramedy. This is me tapping into that space. Um, you know, you still have the world of producing and 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 development that comes from Harvey Production and these movies continue to grow and, and are still being developed. Uh, the conversation of Uptown, kind of Uptown Saturday Night. Um, you know, my relationship with with so many different studios and developing more comedies for me to star in, uh, as well as vehicles yeah, for others. It's just an ongoing yeah. conversation. But, more that you spread yourself out, man, you're able to do more and you do it at a high level. Um, the more longevity you can possibly. Is this the Kevin? This is sort of because Eddie did the same thing. Eddie did comedy, did drama, did action. Is this sort of that blueprint plus more? Um, well, you, you definitely follow what's been proven, mm -hmm. you know. So when you talk about Eddie Murphy and you talk about what he's done and the level that he's done in that. Uh, I wouldn't know that I can do the things that I am doing now if I didn't see it on display. Right. So that's an individual that put it on display. Uh, amongst others, he's not the only one. There's, uh, there's a lot of people that came in and did amazing things. Um, Jamie Foxx, just to throw out a name, is another individual that uh, I love that. Yeah. 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 You got it, just go through that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jamie Foxx is another man, I mean, and I think did it so well at, at mixing it up and just showing uh, how talented he actually was. Yeah, yeah so it's so good. Doing just the stand up comedy. So um, I think more is welcome, and uh, it's just what I'm looking for. I asked, asked The Rock this question, and I want to ask it to you too since I'm sitting down with you. Uh -huh. Somebody tweeted, Who's the funny? Yeah. Kevin Hart, Eddie Murphy, mm -hmm. The Rock, mm -hmm. or Terry Crews? Did, did you that's not the same thing. Did you see that tweet and that hoopla? It ended up being the number one trending topic, but a lot of people saying that it's number one. Who put that list together? Why I who did that? Why is that list together? The Rock laid the smack down on all y'all, so he is the most electrifying man of course, in all of entertainment. Of course, that's what he's supposed to say. But he stinks. DJ stinks. Uh, I stink. Terry Crews stinks. We all stink. Goes to Eddie Murphy in the um, I don't know how that list even came about. Who? It's like it's not even a. It's not even. It's a who? How? How? Right? How? Yeah, I don't. I don't understand that. But it's a. It's a list full of talent. But when it comes to the funny and and people are looking for 
uh, somebody to put on a pedestal, it's forever Eddie Murphy. Yeah, in my eyes, I don't, I don't see it ever doing anybody else. I looked at that, and and I and not taking away anything from anyone else, but The Rock was the most out of place there. But then I looked at the stuff that you guys did together. He is a very funny person, Jimmy. and he can hold his own with Eddie. Jimmy. Not that he's funnier than Eddie, not at all. But he can hold his own. And if they were in a comedy, he could get his own jokes off. Well, you, you, you know, when when people look for the the quote unquote funniest person, it's you can't you can't have that conversation because funny is 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 done in so many different ways. You know, there's so many different levels to funny. Yeah. This is the best interview you ever did, that's why I said I hold it. It's very funny to have a random uh, pit bull just pants doing that. Uh, so I can say, funny, there's different levels to it, you know? So when you're talking about Dwayne, Dwayne is very funny. He he understands comedy. He understands um, how to make a movie. And within comedy and the movie, there needs to be a back and forth. Understanding comedy, um, sometimes it's more powerful than being funny. Because if you, you can be funny but not understand how to deliver comedy um, from a theatrical space. And I think that Terry Crews and Dwayne, those are two guys that aren't comedians, but have a very solid understanding for funny and how to deliver funny. Um, as a comedian, you know, it's very tough to take what you do on stage and put it on the screen, put it in a movie. Some do it well, some miss, some don't. So the ones that do do it at a very high level, um, nine times out of ten are successful and are celebrated. So Eddie has been doing it for years and it's easy. Yeah. It's a it's a second nature to him, which yeah. is why he went and showcased his talent and dream girls amongst other, um, you know, artistic uh artistic choices that he chose to do just to show his serious side and show that he has acting chops just as well as he has comedian chops. I know it was a goal of yours to host the Oscars. Mm -hmm. Is it a goal of yours to win an Oscar? It's not a goal, you know. Uh, what's going to happen is going to happen. I'm, I can't say this enough. Your plan is your plan. What's going to happen for you is going to happen for you. Your job is to be prepared for the moment when it comes so right now i just know that i i i love doing what i do i love doing at the level that i'm doing now. and if i can continue to grow and evolve in the business that means i'm doing something right if accolades come with it in the long run then so be it if they don't um you know it doesn't determine or dictate whether i was successful or not in my particular career. what have you added to your your acting craft in the last Two years. What have I added to my acting craft? Yeah, to your um, skills. If we know Kevin, you was the first. Ah, now you, you have so much more to your You're gonna you're gonna see a lot in this. Like you're, I don't, I don't think. I'm never not tired. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't think my audience is ready to see what they're gonna see. Like this is a. The upside was just a. It was an anchor, you know. This one, you're dealing with full-fledged emotion. I mean, uh, it's based off a true story. My wife dies at delivering, as a delivering my first baby, and I'm stuck with raising a child that I don't know if I want because I don't know if I deserve to be the one that's alive versus the one that passed. And there's a tug of war between two families and what's best for the child. So putting anybody in that position with the understanding of this is a real story, this is a true thing, it's a little, it's, it's heartbreaking. Yeah. So the levels that I, were able, that I was able to reach, the emotional breakdowns that I pull off and still am pulling off in this film are like nothing that you've ever seen from me. So, you know, I'm excited for the reaction. I'm excited to see people respond to uh, a level in the gear that I'm putting on display for the first time. I saw a little bit of the funeral scene of you, your, your speech, just how you layered and the pauses you took between 
get the script was I was like, oh wow, he's he's in he's in his bag. Yeah, it's it's you know what? There's a there's a moment where when I find out, I find out that my wife passed away, and I find out by the doctor coming out. And when the doctor when the doctor comes out, the doctor basically looks me in the eye and without words is saying I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Basically saying I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry at, at what just happened. And the emotional side between me, the doctor, the other nurse that was with us through our happiest moments 15 minutes before, it's, it's heartbreaking. And it was one of the ones that I focused on the most, you know, because that's the defining moment of the movie the set of everything else. So you got a lot of those things in here and and the happy sides come from a facade that my character's putting on for my child. So when I'm at my happiest, when it seems like I'm all joy and all go lucky, I'm lying and putting on a show for her. Because I don't want her to know the truth yeah. of the doubt and the feeling that I have. Yeah. I'm hoping that, you know, I'm hoping that fathers all over watch this movie and are uh, motivated and inspired to be bigger and better fathers. I'm hoping that black men see this movie and realize that we are being displayed in a positive light um, with the with the word fatherhood attached to it. Because there's a negative intone that you sometimes hear. So to have something that's a, that's a picture and, and there's positivity with it, I think it's a very big deal, especially for these times. And I'm hoping that people understand that and see that. That's one of my biggest reasons for taking the work. Can't wait to see the finished product. Thank you for sitting down, chat. Always, always good. Enjoy my job. I'm gonna try my best, man. So far, it's been been good.